Hi, today I'm gonna make spaghetti squash with meat sauce. First, we start off with a freshly washed spaghetti squash, and I'm just poking holes in it to provide ventilation when I microwave it. So be careful not to cut yourself, move your hand and fingers out of the way. So I have punch holes all throughout the spaghetti squash. The skin is pretty thick, so you have to use a little elbow grease. I'm going to start off with cooking it for five minutes to begin. I'm also going to cut up some vegetables to go in the meat sauce, carrots, broccoli. My board was moving, so I decided to use a paper towel. That's just a little trick, and it helps to keep the board in place while you're chopping vegetables. So I'm going to continue to cut up my carrots. I'm also going to coarsely chop some broccoli. You will not taste broccoli in the spaghetti squash if you don't like the taste of it, but it does add great fiber and it's just some more substance to your spaghetti sauce and it makes it a little bit healthier adding additional vegetables. Here I'm cutting up my green bell pepper. I'm removing the seeds and the membrane from the green bell pepper. I was going to use the whole pepper, but I decided I only needed half of it. But since I was already chopping up vegetables, I decided to cut both of them, I placed both sides the half up. in the freezer. Now I'm checking on my spaghetti squash. It's not quite done. So I'm going to flip it over and add an additional five minutes to the cooking time. Here I'm cutting up half of my onion. So I just coarsely chop it. It doesn't have to be really tiny because you want the spaghetti sauce to simmer for as long as you can just to, so that all of the flavors blend together. So it will, the onion will cook down. So I'm checking my spaghetti squash again. I pressed on it. It's not soft enough so I added an additional four minutes so here I have my onion and bell pepper I am adding my ground beef I'm still working on the same ground beef from my first grocery haul uh, and I'm adding it to the pot and I'm gonna sit and let it just cook without stirring it too much in the beginning so now it's been cooking a few minutes and as you can tell you can see that it's beginning to caramelize right there. You want the ground meat to be brown. So you are browning your ground meat. So leaving it there to let it cook on its own is great for that. Now I'm going to remove my spaghetti squash from the microwave. It is extremely hot. So I wrapped it in a dish towel to remove it. And I'm going to let it sit there while I work finish up my spaghetti sauce. I did drain my ground meat. I've added one can of petite diced tomatoes, one eight ounce can of tomato sauce. I've also added in one can of tomato paste. So I'm going to stir that up, mix it in. And I'm also going to add my broccoli and carrots to the mixture. So I'm gonna stir that all in really well. And now it's time for me to begin to season. And I season everything to taste. I didn't measure anything out. I'm gonna start off with seasoning it with some black pepper. So I'm just gonna, I'm kinda eyeballing it. I also added in some garlic powder because I didn't chop garlic in there. And now I'm adding in some seasoning salt and some dried oregano. I'm also going to add in a one ounce, eight ounce can of water. So I'm going to let my marinade or my sauce simmer while I cut up my spaghetti squash. So it's very hot, so be careful as you're cutting it. I did have to cut around the stem just to open it up. So in the inside, when you open it, you'll see that there are seeds and fibers there. You don't want that. So we're gonna take a spoon and simply remove the seeds and the fibers. 
being careful not to burn ourselves because it is piping hot. So I am almost done. Now it's time for me to prep my lunches. So I'm going to take only one half, one half, and that's a four pound spaghetti squash, a half of the spaghetti squash made four nice size portions for lunch. The containers that I'm using, I got those off of Amazon. They were $10 for 10 it came with lids also. They're not very sturdy, but if you like to just take your lunch and you don't want to wash a dish and bring it back home, they would be great for disposable meal prepping, but I am going to use mine a couple of times. Here's my spaghetti, uh, my meat sauce, and I let it simmer. I did add a bay leaf there. So those are my four dishes that I've made. And now I'm going to show you how to make something else with the spaghetti squash. I used a bread baking dish and put the spaghetti squash, the other half in there. And I'm just using my fork to fluff it up. And I'm removing some of it to make um, some other lunch portions. It is quite a bit in the four pound Spaghetti squash is not huge, but it does make a lot of uh, spaghetti squash. And you can also just eat it with seasoning, salt, butter. You don't have to make it in, like it's spaghetti or use it in replacement of pasta. Uh, but this is what I'm doing. I'm kind of making somewhat of a casserole here. And it's this is a great low-carb alternative to regular spaghetti pasta taking out that bay leaf now if you do not like uh well i'll say this it's really good it does not taste just like spaghetti like pasta it does not but it does it is good it does taste good it has like a sweet kind of taste to it and a little crunch to it so I'm just moving up, making sure that it all of the spaghetti squash is coated with my meat sauce. So after I've done that, I'm going to add some cheese. And it's the same cheese from my previous grocery haul, the blended Italian blend cheese. I'm just putting some of that on there. And I'm going to place it back. We'll place it in the oven at 350 degrees just until the cheese melts. And this is what it looks like once it is done. And it was delicious. So I am going to just cut it. I did let it cool off. I didn't just take it out of the oven. Uh, but I let it cool down a little bit. But it's still hot. But the dish itself that I'm touching is not hot. So you just take your knife and cut it. You can scoop it out. I just thought it looked so much nicer just taking the whole thing out. The skin is not edible, but I'm going to just show you what it looks like after I've cut into it. And this is what we have for dinner. So I hope you give this recipe a try. It is really delicious, packed with nutrients, low fat great meal for lunches and for dinner thanks for watching give it a try and let me know what you think of it